Kidney disease is at an alarming level in Australia and many people don't even know they have it. Joining me live is Professor Natasha Rogers, Westmead Institute for Medical Research. And uh, it's currently at an epidemic level, isn't it? That's right, Tim. Thank you very much for having no, me on the program to, have you on the to talk program. about kidney mm. disease. And you're absolutely right. We Many people don't know they have kidney disease. And importantly, you can lose up to 90% of kidney function before you even develop any symptoms. So it can be quite different from some other medical conditions. So what should people do if there's even, even an inkling that they may have a problem with their kidneys? That's a great question. I think the first stop is to go to your local doctor and you can ask for a kidney test and there's some very simple tests that you can do, mm. uh, that, that your general practitioner can do to then identify if you're at increased risk of kidney disease or even if you have it. And then after that, you should be referred to a kidney specialist. Why is it endemic? Uh, there's lots of reasons around, around that. Obviously, medical conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure contribute to kidney disease. And there are other conditions that can be hereditary, so passed down through families that predispose you to kidney disease. And I think the combination of a lot of that can lead to, can, can lead to kidney disease. And also, I think it's under-recognised as an important medical condition. Absolutely. And, and, and obviously, diet, lifestyle, there's an interconnection there? Absolutely. There's always an interconnection mm. um, with any kind of medical condition. And, and there's also where we have an increased understanding that uh, other medical conditions can increase your risk of kidney disease. So, for example, if you have heart disease, lung problems, uh, they can contribute to the subsequent development of kidney disease. And it's not just your kidneys that get affected when you do have kidney disease, is it? That's all right. So we think about kidney disease as being a multi-system disorder, so it can affect many, many other organs in the body. Yeah, and look, we all always think of dialysis, yes. um, transplant. Yes. Uh, where have we come to with, uh, with medical research? Yeah, so, so having kidney disease is a burden. There's about 11,000 people in Australia and New Zealand requiring dialysis treatment. Um, and there's about 1,000 people on the waiting list for transplantation. So these treatments aren't perfect and, and they're a treatment and not a cure. And ideally, uh, we would like to have a cure for kidney disease and at the Westmead Institute for Medical Research, we're working towards that aim. I have a friend who's a father of two kids who's, who's waiting for a transplant and, and getting dialysis as it happens. It's, it's very difficult. It's Absolutely. debilitating at the time too, isn't it? It's like having a full-time job because you have to look after your, yourself and, mm. and dialysis is very time consuming and the wait time if you're waiting for a kidney transplant. Uh, it can be a long time. It can be five, six, sometimes a decade. So you work both as a professor in research and yes. as a working doctor. Yes. How do you balance all that? <laughs> Not very well, most And of you're a mother of three. <laughs> Uh, look, uh, the balance uh, shifts from time to time. So, uh, you know, in my capacity as head of transplantation at Westmead Hospital, uh, directly looking after people who get kidney transplants, and I, I can see the complications that develop for them and their family and also, you know, the effect of kidney disease on the wider community. Are you... It's called WIMA, uh, yes. Westmead Institute of Medical Research. Right. Uh, we often talk about the gap between government funding and benevolence. Yeah. How important is that we have people come in, donate as much as they possibly can uh, and be benefactors with your institute to help what you do? Yeah, it's absolutely crucial. So at WIMA, there's a large number of biomedical researchers who are dedicating their careers and their lives to understanding health and disease, to develop treatments and cures. And uh, research funding that's available is at, I think, historically low levels and challenging to come by. And so uh, men, not just WIMA, but a lot of medical research institutes are really dependent upon philanthropic funding to help continue uh, our valuable research. Absolutely, you do wonderful work. And finally, it's not an overreach to say that, you know, people watching this program, it could be one of their family yes. members that gets saved or uh, life change for the better because of the research. Ab absolutely. Um, and you, you never know, kidney disease can happen without warning, um, as can any other medical condition. And sometimes you might need dialysis and a transplant. And we're continually trying to figure out ways to 
improve that so that we can perhaps eliminate both of those requirements. Professor, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you very much, Tim. Appreciate it.